Hello again, folks. How are you doing? It is the 21st day of May 2024. It's about 3.30, 3.15 in the afternoon on a Tuesday. Uh, big news out of yesterday was uh, Khan, the prosecutor out of the ICC, has recommended he is seeking uh, five warrants, uh, arrest warrants, with regard to what's going on in Israel and, and Gaza uh, and Palestine. Um, three of which target Palestinians, and only two of which target uh, the uh, Israelis. And those two would be these gentlemen here. Um, this is a bridge too far, and we see all of these folks in the press, in the mainstream media, in the fake alternative media, screeching and gnashing their teeth and beating their breast and tearing their hair out, screaming, how, how dare the ICC overstep their bounds by drawing any kind of comparison between the glorious democracy that is Israel and, of course, the terrorists, the terrorists that are Palestine and Hamas. I've dealt with this a number of times. I'm so sick. I am so fucking sick of having to stand up time and time and time again and yell to the fucking high heavens that the fix is in, the game is rigged, they are lying to you about 9-11, about fucking the Iraq war, about what happened with the fucking planned demolition of our economies. So the banksters could steal everything that wasn't nailed down. About the fact that Russia did not just arbitrarily invade Ukraine. They were responding to the request from the people of the Donbass Republic. Which, by the way, is a mandatory thing that nations have to do who signed on to the fucking UN Charter. When someone is being bombed relentlessly by the government they are trying to separate from. Over and over and over again. It turns out, those of us on the real alternative side are always proven right. And yet, we have to suffer the slings and arrows repeatedly. All the fucking time time until we drag the rest of the rest of the fucking population kicking and screaming and scratching and clawing and crying along with us to realize oh yeah we did make COVID-19 oh yeah the mRNA jabs aren't actually vaccines oh yeah they did it in order to run experiments the largest experiment in the history of mankind because they're looking for something And here we are again. The few of us who don't have our hands out and our palms up. Saying two plus two equals four. And fuck you for trying to tell us otherwise. Israel is committing genocide in Palestine. So they can steal the fucking land. Gaza, Palestine, Hamas is not doing that to fucking Israel. And in fact, I would argue, after what I'm going to show you in part today, I'm not entirely sure the Palestinians killed any fucking civilians on October the 7th, 2023. I'm not entirely sure they killed any of them. I'm starting to think the IDF their drones, their Apache attack helicopters, their tanks, and their foot soldiers killed all 560, whatever the hell the number was. That's what I'm starting to think. Because it is painfully fucking obvious. These people lie through their teeth. And I wouldn't at all be surprised to come to find out that that was their plan all along, once the attack took place, they decided they needed a body count, a big body count 
to justify them finally stealing Gaza from the Palestinian people and wiping Palestine off the map once and for all. And if you think those two assholes right there wouldn't be capable of coming up with something like that, you are sadly mistaken or you are a sycophant or you've got your hand out and your palm the fuck up. I am sick of it. <clears throat> I'm sick of always having to be right. Never getting any fucking credit for being right. I know that sounds arrogant. I don't give a fuck. It's true. And eventually they all come around. And who gets the credit? Robert F. Kennedy Jr. Wonder how long before he fucking turns on his Zionist fucking handlers. Sorry. Uh, it's, it's very frustrating. This shit is very frustrating. Having to cover this stuff uh, takes a lot out of you. It does. It, it, I'm sorry, but it does. You know, at one point in time, excuse me, uh, I had decided that's I'm 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 done. I don't want to do this anymore. You know, um, but uh, here we are. Let me let's go through this real quick. A um, couple of quick points. This is from my website today. Now we're going to get to the article that I wrote this morning, in which I'm going to talk about this ICC uh, statement that's made yesterday. By the way, uh, it still has to go before a judge of three people, and I guarantee you what you're going to see is um, they're going to reject the two against Israel and approve the three against the Palestinians. By the way, uh, I also want to say this: if you are on the alt-left, or on the side that is supporting fucking Palestine, support, supposedly supporting Palestine, and ending the fucking genocide, and you happen to say things like what this fucking Owens guy said, what's his fucking name, Ben Owen, whatever the fuck his name is, the guy who, used to, who writes for The Guardian, so proud he used to write for The Fucking Guardian, um, <laughs> if, you, if, you, if you are one of these people who say you support uh, ceasefire, and you support an end to the genocide, and yet uh, you come out, the, the words come out of your mouth that you fully support the ICC's decision against, uh, about recommending the arrest warrants for the three Palestinians. Um, fuck you. You have no idea what you're talking about. You have, you're just trying to act as if you're middle of the road, and you're being, you're calling them, as you see them, straight down the middle. Fuck you. Fuck you. One of the main reasons <coughs> the ICC, God damn it, the ICC, see this is what, this is, it makes me fucking sick doing this. This is one of the main reasons the ICC has said that they, they, they filed these uh, charges was because of the systemic rape of the uh, women in fucking Gaza. Uh, turns out um, that that was a flat out fucking lie. Rights Group uh, admits it helped spread false claims about October the 7th rapes. That was the big one. That was the big one. That position paper from Physicians for Human Rights in Israel back in November. That was the big one. Turns out they've come out and said, you know what, w w now that we look back over it, uh, these witnesses that we had, their, their stories were bullshit there's no evidence that came forward and of course we told you back this back then we told you this back then there was no evidence of this whatsoever in any of the fucking uh, in, in any of the fucking um, post-mortem studies they did uh, 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 forensic studies they did uh, on the victims there's none it's a lie it was always a lie just like the 40 beheaded babies just like the Hamas hiding under the fucking uh, hospital. It was all lies. Lies, 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 lies. And I'm sick of it. And this motherfucker comes out and uses that charge 
as justification for filing for three arrest warrants against three Palestinians and only two Israelis. Are you out of your fucking mind? Can you not see what that is? Can you not see what that is? Well, we, we filed charges against three of them, but only two of you, so we're, uh, Palestine's worse, Hamas is worse. Fuck you. Fuck you. This makes me sick. And anybody, including this Owen guy, what's his name, Ben Owen or some shit? Including this Owen, especially this Owen guy. See, he fully supports fucking ICC charges against Hamas. All you're fucking doing, when you do that, when you say that, all you're doing is saying, hey, Israel, I got my hand out and my palm up. I'm calling, I'm helping you call for regime change. Fuck you. Because it's not evidence-based. Look back at the history of the ICC charges. Who they filed charges against? Vladimir Putin in 2023. For what? For doing what the UN Charter says we have to do when somebody says, please help us stop the government we're trying to separate from from bombing us all into fucking little pieces and killing children. Can anyone please stop? Can anyone please help? And so eventually, Russia said, all right, we'll do it. It wasn't a, uh, an invasion. We're going to take, we're going to take and, 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 and recreate the Soviet empire. Fuck you. ICC filed those fucking charges against Putin as a war criminal. If Putin was a war cr criminal, Ukraine would be a fucking parking lot right now. I don't care how many goddamn mercenaries we send over there. Ukraine would be a fucking parking lot right now. Someone who's Larry, what's his fucking face? Some fucking uh, mil former military dude. He said there's like 1.9 million fucking Russian soldiers. They're, they're, they're gearing them up. At some point in time, they're just going to walk in there and just wipe the place clean. And they should. They should. They absolutely 100% should. Get rid of the goddamn Nazis. Get rid of Zelensky. Get rid of all of the, 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 the U.S. puppets and the World Economic Forum puppets that are keeping this shit going. There was some woman, I forget her name. I put a thing in here, didn't I? Where is it? Yeah, here it is. Estonia's Prime Minister, Kallas, she said we should break up Russia into small pieces because it'd be easier to control then. She literally came out and said that. That's, that's been our plan for, for, for all kinds of countries, all sorts of countries. Go back to Yugoslavia, which, of course, Bernie Sanders supported the fucking regime change and bullshit regime change there. The ICC also filed... Uh, criminal charges against a guy by the name of Muammar Gaddafi for killing his own people. When they filed the charges, uh, they made a point to say uh, they didn't have any real evidence, but they were going to find evidence. They were going to find evidence, they said. Hang on, I'll show you. You think I'm making that bullshit up? Here it is. Globalist puppet Luis Moreno Ocampo. Issues ICC arrest warrant for Gaddafi based on, quote, activists say evidence. The activists down there said these things were happening. We're going to issue the arrest warrants based on what the people who want him gone said. And then we'll find the evidence later. That literally happened. This is the ICC. This is the ICC. The same ones. You make people are pissed. The Zionist and their fucking apologist collaborators and I choose that word those words carefully they say how dare you draw a comparison between Israel and Hamas I asked the same fucking question I asked the same fucking question how dare you draw a comparison between the government of fucking Palestine and the government of fucking Gaza and the terror state that is fucking Israel because that's exactly what Israel is. They are a terrorist state who uses 
corruption, lies, coercion, and in the end, assassinations and brute force when somebody is weak enough to get what they want. Palestine doesn't do that. Gaza doesn't do that. They want to be allowed to live their lives and, and, and profit and, and, and build up the fucking Gaza Strip as best they can. That's what they want. And people are saying, well, yeah, they should arrest those three guys along with the two fucking Israelis. Fuck you. You have no idea what you're talking about. You have literally no fucking clue what you're talking about. None. You tell me how many fucking Jewish civilians were killed by the IDF on October the 7th. Tell me. Is it larger than the number killed by Hamas? I'd say so. I, it's, it's pretty obvious at this point. It's pretty fucking obvious at this point. How much sense would it make to send people into fucking, to put this whole thing together so we would find ourselves here in a global PR battle where the rest of the world is looking at what they knew Israel would do to them, saying, that's enough. We're going to end this by coming to, a, to an agreement that there are two states there's Israel and there's Palestine, and you're going to recognize each other, and that's the end. How much sense would it be to say, yeah, go in there and kill as many fucking civilians as you can for a PR battle later? Fuck you, you're a fucking moron if that's what you think. You're a fucking idiot. And one thing, I told you this before, when they accepted the fucking deal that was on the table three weeks ago, Forcing Be Benjamin Netanyahu to show his hand and go, no, we're not going to take it because we want to bomb and kill some more fucking children. I told you then. These guys are playing fucking chess. While fucking Benjamin Netanyahu's playing fucking shoots and ladders. So you tell me how smart it would be for them to say, yeah, go kill as many civilians as you can. Nah. Shut the fuck up, you ignorant motherfuckers. You are ignorant. You are stupid. The taking of hostages. How many? 10,000? Are there 10,000 fucking Palestinians disappeared into the fucking Israeli prisons? Black prisons? Black site prisons right now? 10,000? 5,000? It's more than 5,000. It's between 5,000 and 10,000. <laughs> and you're pissed off because Palestinians decided to get 200? And the only reason they decided to take the 200 was not to torture them like the, the Israelis had been doing to the Palestinians for, oh, I don't know, 75 fucking years. The only reason to take the fucking hostages was so that we could have this moment where they're saying, we'll release the hostages We'll come to a deal, two-state fucking solution. You recognize us, we'll recognize you, and that'll be the end of it. That's why they did it. Not to torture them, not to hurt them, not to get information about the fucking networks like the Israelis do to the Palestinians. And you think that puts them on, on the same par as fucking Israel? Fuck you. I didn't mean to be you know, doing this and get pissed off about this, but honestly, if that's what you think, fuck you. You're a, you're a moron. You're not paying attention. Pay attention. Try your best to pay attention. This is what I wrote this morning. The ICC has requested arrest warrants for two Israelis and three Palestinians with regard to what happened on October the 7th, 2023, and the resulting actions from Israel. 
The ICC prosecutor is accusing Israeli officers of intentionally targeting civilians and using starvation as a weapon from the New York Times. One, targeting civilians. Netanyahu compares ICC arrest warrant, is, warrant request to anti-Israel protests. What the new anti-Semitism looks like. Israeli Prime Minister says anti-Semitism has moved from the campuses in the West to the court in The Hague. That's Fox News. Of course, whenever, they, whenever legitimate fucking accusations are brought, leveled against anybody in Israel, any, especially any Zionists or the IDF, or politicians, the first thing you do is whip out the anti-Semitism card. You whip that card out. You throw that yellow card. It's a yellow card. It's the shape of a fucking Star of David. And you throw that out there fast and furious. Anti-Semitism. How dare you? However, this is what Netanyahu said. And you must remember what Amalek has done to you, says our Holy Bible, and we do remember. What is Amalek? Now go attack the Amalekites and totally destroy all that belongs to them. Do not spare them. Put to death men and women, children and infants, cattle and sheep, camels and donkeys. That's the biblical reference that he made. Calling for targeting of civilians and civilian infrastructure. Destroy all that belongs to them. Seems pretty straightforward to me. That's targeting civilians. Using starvation as a weapon. How dare they do this? How dare the ICC do this? Really? This is what Gallant said. By the way, Gallant is the guy standing next to BB here. We're fighting human animals and we will act accordingly. There will be no electricity, no food, no water, no fuel. Everything will be closed. Using starvation as a weapon. I don't see any problem with that. I gave you, here, those are just a few. Rights experts find reasonable grounds genocide is being committed in Gaza. That's the United Nations. A top UN court says Gaza genocide is plausible but does not order a ceasefire. That's National Public Radio. Israel's genocide in Gaza is a world historical crime from the nation. A textbook case of genocide. That's from Jewish currents. Not the Nazi fucking manifesto fucking times. That's from Jewish currents. A textbook case of genocide. Wall Street Journal op-ed. I'm Jewish. I've covered wars. I know war crimes when I see them. And then, of course, new evidence of unlawful Israeli attacks in Gaza causing mass civilian casualties amid the real risk of genocide. That's Amnesty International. And, of course, what does Biden say? What's happening is not genocide. In what fucking bizarro world is this not genocide? Two plus two equals five, God damn it! You don't have to agree that two plus two equals five, said Big Brother. You just have to understand there's the possibility that two plus two could equal five. Israel might not be committing genocide in spite of what you see, in spite of what you know, in spite of what you read, in spite of what they say, they might not. This is what The Hill wrote. This is what The Hill wrote in an op-ed. According to reports, Karim Khan, chief prosecutor of the International Criminal Court, is widely expected to issue several arrest warrants in the coming days. 
These warrants will not be against Ayatollah Khomeini, the leader of the world's foremost state sponsor of terror, Iran, or Syrian President Bashir Assad, who has presided over the massacre of more than 500,000 civilians in Syria over the last 12 years. No, instead, Khan's planning to indict glorious Israeli leaders, including Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, IDF Chief of Staff uh, Halvali V, whatever, for the crime of defending the Jewish state against Hamas, who committed the worst mass slaughter of Jews since the Holocaust. Let me ask you a question, and I've heard that many times. I've heard that quote many times, and the president of your United States has said that shit. (sighs) What if it isn't? What if it were Jews? who committed the worst mass murder murder of Jews since the Holocaust. How would that fucking change? How would that change the metrics? How would that change the dynamic? How would that change people's acceptance that Hamas is a terror organization and has to go no matter what? Even though I want to I wanna stop the genocide, Hamas has still got to go. Fuck you. Hamas is their fucking elected government. But what if, what if, what if, what if the greatest mass fucking, the greatest mass fucking casualty numbers, the greatest mass attack on Jewish people since the Holocaust wasn't committed by Hamas? What if it was committed by the IDF and the Zionists in power and the Jewish power party and people like that who wanted nothing more than to use what happened on October the 7th as justification for what's going on right now? What if? You say, Scott, that's outrageous. Who did 9-11? 19 fucking radical Muslims with box cutters? Or the guys in PNAC who stole the election to be put in power so they could do it? You tell me. 9-11 was the worst fucking crime ever committed, worst act of terrorism ever committed up until then. If you want to argued COVID-19 is the worst act of fucking terrorism designed to change the economic, political, and social structure of a country through a threat to violence and violence committed against the fucking population, then you can argue COVID-19 is the largest fucking act of terrorism committed against the people of this country. But who did that? China? <laughs> this is when I say hand out palm up this is what I'm talking about a high profile group of financiers billionaires and executives joined a private whatsapp group to sway public opinion on the Israel Hamas war culminating in some member participating in a zoom call with New York Mayor Eric Adams urging him to use police to deal with protesters at Columbia University. Go bash those heads. Get the people off the fucking lawns. There's too many news cameras. There's too much attention being paid to them. We can't see young people opposing genocide in public. We can't see that. That's bad. They felt the same way about the Great March of Return. 2019, 2018, 2019. 50 weeks, every weekend, every Friday. Taking place on the Gazan side of the fucking fence. But it was getting too much press, too many fucking newspapers, too many photographs taken, too many people asking, hey, what's going on over there in Gaza? So what did the IDF do? The little cowardly pieces of shit wearing bags on their fucking heads hit up in the hills with sniper rifles and they shot people in the legs. 
and they kept doing it. And they killed a lot of people, and they maimed a lot of people. And some of them were women. Some of them were, 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 were first aid responders. Some of them were children. Glorious fucking Israel. The most moral army in the world. And now the billionaires in this country, who apparently share the same fucking moral interpretude, is that the right word? They share the same morals. Getting Eric Adams hand out palm up to go bash heads in Colombia. Students, kids, young people who just want to see the genocide stop. Why? Because it's a bad look for glorious fucking Israel. <coughs> Here's some people with their palms, hands out and palms up. Ben Shapiro. Ben Shapiro. Roger Stone. Hands out, palms up. Give me the cash. Give me the money. This is from December of 2023. Israel's army on Tuesday admitted it had an immense and complex quantity of what it calls friendly fire incidents that took place on October the 7th. An immense and complex quantity. The key, de key declaration was buried in the penultimate paragraph of an article by Yoav Zitun, the military correspondent for the Israeli outlet Ynet. I'm sorry, it was Ynet who covered it. It is the first known official army admission that a significant number of the hundreds of Israelis who died on October the 7th were killed by Israel itself and not by Hamas or other Palestinian resistance factors. An Israeli police source last month appeared to admit that some of the Israelis at the supernova rave taking place near Gaza that day were hit by Israeli attack Apache helicopters. A second police source later partially walked back the admission. Of course he did. Oh, he didn't say that. Cut in half. Kids cut in half with fucking bullets the size of, the size of walnuts. AK-47s don't fire those, by the way. But those fucking guns do? The Gatlin guns on the fucking Apache attack helicopters? They do. Pretty easy to figure out. Who got killed by what? I never know now. Citing new data released by the Israeli military, Zitun wrote that casualties fell as a result of friendly fire on October the 7th, but the IDF believes that it would not be morally sound to investigate them. It wouldn't be morally sound to investigate them. I wish I, I, I shared uh, with uh, so many people, like fucking, what's his name, Scott Ritter, was like, oh, this is the beginning of the end for the Israelis, blah, 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 blah. Uh, the, three will, the three judges will reject the arrest warrants against glorious Israel. Uh, they are already threatening to pull funding from the ICC. They're already threatening to, you know, use every means by which it is in their power to punish the prosecutors, to punish the judges if they vote the wrong way. Uh, this is, listen to me very carefully. Um, somebody said uh, on one of these interview things, this is a kind of a turning point. You know, this is a, uh, this is a, this is a wake up call. This is a uh, come to Jesus moment, if you don't mind my tossing Christianity in the middle of this Jewish versus Muslim thing. Um, th this is quite possibly, uh, and I'm sure it, this works in the, in the favor of the globalists, uh, quite possibly a moment where people are going to realize that there is no fucking international law. Now, I'm sure if one's old enough, uh, we asked the same question with regard to, oh, I don't know, 
Libya, Syria, uh, Iraq, Afghanistan. Uh, we ask the same question. There's no fucking accountability. There's no holding these people accountable. They just lied and lied and lied and lied to us until the, all the lies were gone and fucking dissipated. And they said, fuck it, democracy and freedom. And they started bombing fucking Iraq anyway. They tried to go to the fucking UN Security Council and make up lies. And, of course, they knew that they were telling the lies. Colin Powell did. So he had the head of the CIA sit behind him. He forced the head of the CIA to sit behind him. Otherwise, he wasn't going to push the fucking lies. He wanted him in the camera frame. So he wasn't the only one. What happened to them? They retired. Comfortably. They killed a million fucking Iraqis based on drummed up bullshit and lies because they wanted the fucking oil. It's that simple. And they wanted the pipeline across fucking Afghanistan. And they wanted the poppy fields because the Afghanis, the, Tal the, the, the Taliban, have fucking destroyed the poppy fields. But those poppies, there's a lot of fucking black ops money in those poppies, man. And so they replanted them. If you're paying attention, you realize that the, 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 the illusion, the pleasant fucking fiction that we live in, that there is some kind of fucking international law that holds these nation states, certain nation states accountable. Uh, it holds all nation states accountable. Uh, it, it, it's been gone for a while. Shit, you can go back to Vietnam if you want. It's been gone for quite some time. And certainly Yugoslavia. Uh, I, I don't believe in that. I'm, I'm, not a, I, I, I'm not into the fucking, you know, Easter Bunny either. Um, but I think some people are concerned that this will just totally decimate people's belief in the, in the rule of international law. So it could be just completely scrapped. In the Western world. Of course, the BRICS countries, they don't, they don't see the world the way we do. They don't see the world the way we do. Where it's just a fucking glorious free-for-all of savage capitalism. They don't see the world that way. They have rules. They have regulations. People, people have to face the consequences for fucking stealing shit. Bankers. Fucking CEOs, they go to jail for lying, for stealing, for doing shit, for colluding. They go to jail for that shit. In the United States, our Congress critters have their hands up and out and up for APEC. And APEC makes videos, makes videos bragging about how they have our fucking politicians in their pockets. If we made videos like that, we would be shut down for anti-Semitism. Israel, through APEC, makes videos like that, celebrating how they've bought us off. A bunch of dumbass fucking goy. And nobody says shit. And I'm not making that shit up. It's right here. I'm not making it up. Yeah, watch a little bit of it. 60 years, they've bought us. They've owned us. And they're proud of us. Please welcome Senate Democratic Leader. The Senate Republican Leader. Please welcome Speaker of the U.S. House of Representatives. Please welcome Secretary of State. I'm honored to introduce the Vice President of the United States, Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. Please welcome back to the apex stage, the Prime Minister of Israel. From day one, Israel found itself in a unique alliance. The alliance between Israel and the United States of America. In the United States, our support for Israel is bipartisan, and that is how it should stay. Well, wait a minute. A strategic ally, our unbreakable friendship. America is safer when we... APEC made this. Israel First has made this. And they're proud of it. 
and they are proud of it. Could you imagine if Iran did something like this? Said, oh, look at all these guys coming to our conference. Iran or Russia or China. Could never, never get away with it. These people be run out of D.C. on a rail. Venezuela, Nicaragua, Cuba, gone. Israel? Oh, that's okay. That's fine. And people are worried this is gonna this is gonna call into question the fucking international rule of law. <laughs> I I don't I rarely do predictions. I th I thought that BB be gone by fucking the first of the year. You know, uh, I had I had it just it it didn't dawn on me that it was so fucking obvious what was going on. And that the whole thing was being dragged out and Israelis were dying and, and, the, and the hostages were still in, in being held hostage and genocide was taking place and the public relations and, and the nightmare that is Israel right now, according to the rest of the fucking world. I had no clue that the people of fucking Israel would be such goddamn fucking cowards that they wouldn't have gotten rid of that motherfucker five months ago. It, it just it just blows my fucking mind. It blows my fucking mind. It really does. So I don't do predictions that often, but I will tell you this. Uh, these two guys, uh, they're, they're not going to have arrest warrants issued against them. But the Palestinians will. And all of the motherfucking fake goddamn alt people who are out there right now saying, yes, we want these things. We want, we want BB you know, and, and Gallant. We want them arrested from the ICC because that's right. It is fucking. But we also, we also respect that the Hamas guys should be arrested too. What you're going to get is nothing against fucking BB and the fucking, and, and the head of the IDF. Nothing. But they will uphold the three against the Palestinians. And then where the fuck are you going to be then? Where are you going to be then, Owen? Because you're going to you're on record saying you support it. You stupid rat fuck. You're on record saying you support it, in spite of the fact that it's clearly bogus. There were no goddamn systemic rapes, and I will put myself way out on the limb here. I will I will fucking tell you right now. <laughs> that however many Israeli civilians were killed by Palestine, Palestinians on October the 7th, the IDF killed five times more. Which means, which means, the one fucking talking point that they have, the greatest fucking loss of Jewish life at one fucking time in one event since the fucking Holocaust wasn't perpetrated by Palestinians. It was perpetrated, perp perpetrated by the fucking Jewish IDF. And yet, so many alt fucking people are out there saying, well, I agree, Hamas leaders should be also arrested. That's what you're going to get. And then you're going to have to live with it. And you're going to have to stand by that. Because you're all such fucking cowards that you can't ever recognize the fact that you were fucking wrong. Now, that I've been so self-sanctimonious self and uh, high on myself, I prepared a little something for you just to show you that uh, even though I am always right and I always get these things right and I'm so sick of always getting these things right, um, I did want to prepare something for you uh, to show you that um, um, I, I can laugh at myself. Sometimes I'm wrong. Um Sometimes, you know, to pass the time or to relax a little bit. I don't know what the hell that was. That's the NSA saying, you know, we're we fucking with you. 
Uh, sometimes I'll sing along with my fucking headphones on. And I know, I can, I can tell with the headphones on how good I sound. And so I know that um, if I just worked at it a little bit, uh, I could maybe even be a recording artist. And so, um, with that in mind, uh, I recorded a little song for you. And this is me uh, singing along with Dire Straits, The Bug. Let's see just how awful this fucking sounds, shall we? <laughs> and now to punish myself, I have to sit here and listen to it. Well, it's a strange old game, you learn it slow. It's one step forward and it's back you go. You're standing on the throttle, you're standing on the brakes. In the groove till you make a mistake because sometimes you're the windshield, sometimes you're the bug. Sometimes it all come together, baby. Sometimes you're a fooling in love. Yep, that's, that's what I thought. Sometimes you're the Louisville yeah. slugger, baby. Sometimes I need to have you're this the ball. Me. I need to keep this with Sometimes you all come together, baby. Sometimes you're going to lose it at all. <laughs> lose it at all. <laughs> I, need to, I need to keep this with me. <laughs> um, uh, just because um, clearly... Um, you got to know happy, you got to... <laughs> clearly, stop that. Clearly, I need, uh, I need a dose of reality. I need a reality, ch reality check from time to time. Um, that was a good one. I sound very different. I sound very different with the headphones off. <laughs> very different indeed. Listen, I, I'm not an arrogant motherfucker. I just, when I'm right, I'm right. And I'm right on this. Um, and after, you know, putting you guys through 30 minutes of listening to me fucking rant and rave, I thought, you know, a little laugh at my expense would be well-timed. And, uh, but here, that's, here's the reality. Here's the reality. Hamas is not on par with Israel. Hamas is not a terrorist state. Israel is. Hamas is not committing genocide. Israel is. Hamas did not torture the fucking hostages. In fact, until the IDF and the Zionists flat out demanded that the people who had been released stop saying how well they were treated by the fucking Palestinians. That's, th this is fact. This is fact. And again, remember, this is not the first intifada or the second intifada. This is a world that is connected. And the leaders of Hamas and their advisors understand that. They are fighting for a fucking end to this conflict, bringing peace to the Middle East, where Saudi Arabia and Qatar and Oman and Jordan will all, everybody will recognize Israel's right to exist as long as Israel recognizes Palestine's. This is big time. This was not some fly-by-night bullshit, let's go in there and kill as many Jews as we can. That's stupid. That's childish. That's not what Hamas did. The vast majority of the civilians killed in Israel on October the 7th were killed by Israelis. That's a fact. The only question is, did they give the order for weapons free because they wanted a body count, an Israeli body count, to justify genocide? Stop fucking saying there's an equivalence between Hamas and Israel. There is not. There is none. I thank you for your time.